Right. Welcome to Awfully Silly, everyone. My name is Conception. I hope you have all had an excellent first couple weekends of July. Uh, if I sound older and wiser and more mature, it is because my birthday is yesterday and I am fishing for compliments. So feel free to uh, let them off in the chat there for me. I appreciate it. But uh, we are not here to talk about my birthday. Of course, we are here to celebrate the awful, the silly, the delightful, the quirky, the weird video games and the speed runs of those video games. Before we get into that and our theme for this evening, I just wanted to go over a couple of announcements first, namely Frame Fatales, which is Games Done Quick's all women online speedrunning community. They have an upcoming event, Flame Fatales, that's going to be running from August 13th through the 20th. The schedule is now out at gamesdonequick.com slash schedule. And while you're checking out that schedule, feel free to submit a prize for the event. You can use exclamation point FF in the Twitch chat to submit your prizes. The last day to submit prizes eligible is August 6th. So a little less than a month away. Get those prizes in. Cannot wait to see what you all come up with. It's going to be incredible. Now, uh, tonight's theme, as you might be able to see on the screen right in front of you, is we're, we're going a little horror theme with it. We're going a little horror today. Uh, of course, it wouldn't be awfully silly if we didn't get a little bit unusual and strange with the choices that we have. And uh, the first uh, first game, I think, is no exception to that, but it is delightful nonetheless. We are going to be kicking off our silly horror games uh, episode tonight with a speed run of A Nightmare on Elm Street for the, the NES, though it says PS2 on there. I'll fix that in a second. The NES run by Cantaloupe Me. Go ahead and take it away. Okay, let me get my PS2 controller out. Oh, wait, no. no. <laughs> oh, please don't. Please, please use the whatever controller is best for you. I hear you. Well, hello, everybody. Yep, I'm kind of like me. I will be doing some Nightmare on Elm Street. And there's a little bit to talk about during the round, but first of all, I have to do a power off and a power on for RNG manipulation, which I'll explain after I get it. And uh, give me just a moment, and we'll do that, and, we'll, and I'll tell you all when to start the timer. So I'm going to turn this off for a second. Okay. And then we'll, we'll start the game. I have to do this on one frame. Okay, we got it. Start. Okay. Nightmare on Elm Street, a very infamous game that has been uh, talked about, you know, over the years. You know, Angry Video Game Nerd made it famous and all that good stuff, but it gets a lot of rep for a bad game, but it's actually a very good game. Um, it was made by, L produced by LJN, but actually Rare made this, and the legendary David Wise did the uh, soundtrack to it. You'll hear some influences um, in other games after this, like Shake, Rattle, Snake, Rattle, and Roll, and uh, I think Double Dragon as well shares some things. Not Double Dragon, Battletoads, rather. But the object of this game, we are going around collecting all these wrenches. Note they're bones, even though they all look uh, wrenches. Freddy has a lot of femurs. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I think there's... I forgot the exact count on bones, but it's one more than what's in the human body. Hey, we got we got a good boss kill there. Ooh, that okay. seemed fast. Yeah, that was a little faster than normal, I'll take it. Than average, I should say. That'd be good in a record run. Yep, we got the house order. Now, the idea behind the reset, I mean, the reset, the power up. Uh, the first three houses are random. However, if you start the game on the very first frame, you can. And not hold any other buttons, but start you will get the perfect house order. Now, that setup is different depending whether you're on a front loader NES or um, using um, the top loader because of how it does uh, the RAM. There's a different combination of buttons you can hold, but it's just much easier on the toaster NES, I mean the front loader, because um, you, know, you only have to hold start. This game has seen uh, a little bit of light in the GDQ era. Um, did this um, on a horror game block uh, last year, and then also uh, in 2017, myself, Jam Eveler, Scavenger, and Feasel all did the four-player run of this, which was a lot of fun. I don't know. 
getting four people to play this game is something special anyway. Okay. Yeah, that must have been really fun. <laughs> oh, it was. Um, and what was so weird about that run, um, the RNG manipulation for the house order would have worked with four players. So um, in all of our practice runs, we never got the perfect house order until the run on stage. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, it, it was definitely it was definitely a thing. But speed tech in this game is just pretty much routing the bones and not getting your inputs eight like that. Um, yeah, I hit jump a few times and uh, the character did not want to jump. Which, you know, it does happen sometimes, sadly. Oh, yeah, that's really good there. We got rejected. Yeah, but inputs do get a quite a bit in this game, sadly. It doesn't handle lag well. Oh, we missed that button. Okay, record's officially dead. Reset. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a yeah. different show where they go for PBs. Yes, that is true. <laughs> this is one game I would not do on that show. <laughs> because of what my PB is, I... It's, it's a sub-16, which um, I was amazed when I got that. But somebody has bested that run since, but I'm uh, not sure if everyone will go back to it because of what it's going to take to get it. But otherwise, you know, it's just, you know, it's a good platformer. It's really not a lot of downtime. There's always something going on in this game. Let's see if we can get this in one cycle. We did. Yep, you have to collect each each bone in the area to advance uh, to the next. You, there's one area you could possibly skip, but the gate to the, the screen won't go to the next area unless you have all the bones. Okay. And this is a nice, one of the worst bosses to fight, because it's very random. Pretty clean, but... Okay. So are, all the, are all the bosses just like various Freddy appendages? Yes. Um, like head, hand. <laughs> yep, the, the hand twice, the head. Um, and then from here on in, the bosses are a little bit different. Um, it's different iterations of uh, Freddy from, um, you know, various movies. This is ba loosely based off the third movie, Dream Warriors. And what I mean by loosely, um, very enough just to barely mention it, um, you do have three power-ups that you see that's only available at boss fights or in the dream world. We won't be going into the dream world during the speed run because we go too fast to fall asleep. But there are, um, the athlete is the main power-up that we use. There's also a ninja and a necromancer, which, um, we do not, um, mess with those at all. Um, we used to do ninja in the speed run until, um, I decided to get crazy and um, put, you know, the pepper bat into it, just like the task did. The task can just auto-fire the bosses, which is pretty nice, but um, obviously we're not as fast as, oh, as a task on that. Yeah, the junkyard, it's... um. The rest of the stages have a set order. It all goes back to front. So there's no more... There's really not much RNG left except for a couple boss fights. These next two boss fights have the same pattern every time. So when you were doing the RNG manipulation at the beginning of the run, that was to set up the order in which that you're doing these levels, am I understanding correctly? Or Just the first three levels. Just the first three. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the reason being that is, is it just like because they're sequential or is it just like a easiest to hardest kind of deal or vice oh, versa? It's, it's sequential um, and okay. it'll save time from walking back and forth. The, the contents of the house don't change. Got it. So, so um... So if, if I would have got the second house, you still would have saw the first house that you saw. So um, the stage, the contents will always be in the same order. It's just which one you go into. But after that, the stages are seven. Got it. All right. Yeah. There's a few glitches in this run, but um, we won't see those until the very end. There's a few frame perfect jumps in the last house as well. The last house just gets a little bit crazy with uh, strats. 
and still wondering why to this day why they built a graveyard on top of a river, but they did. But this is my uh, second speedrun I ever learned, and it's the first one I really routed. And I've, you know, it's been a good journey with it. I've been running this, I think, like, uh, let's see here, I started running in 2014, so, you know, about nine years. Wow. That's commitment right there. Yeah, I like to I like to keep committed to things. Yeah, I think the only other game I grinded longer in this was my I guess you can call it infamous grind with Zelda One. Um, yeah, we did way too many runs of that game. <laughs> okay, now we're up to the ghost. Biggest hitbox in the game. This should do it here. Yep. Yeah, but that and the bat that we saw in the previous stage have the same exact pattern and they never change. So, very consistent. Now, the next boss after this um, is not consistent. It's one of the most random things you'll encounter boss wise. This is also one of the longer stages. Now, um, you do have three continues, but hopefully we don't need to see any of those. And as you see, we got seven lives. You get a one up every time you finish a house. So it's very generous with the lives in this one. Oh. Eh. You can sometimes grab that bone early, save a few seconds, but it's uh, very... I don't think anybody's ever gotten in a PB attempt. I'll try to do a little quick jump down here. Got it. Switch through the wall there to get a little extra boost. Pretty easy to do, just got a buffer a jump on that screen. Yay, let's eat some more inputs game, that's awesome. <laughs> you can't have a silly block without a game that eats uh, inputs at random. You just, it's not, it, you, you have to have games like that for this. Yeah, but this is supposedly Freddy's house that we're in. Okay, now normally I go for a skip that saves like maybe about a second, but we're not going to do that for this run. It's uh, where we skip getting the coffee over here. But it's literally just right down here. We get the coffee a stay awake. Um, you're, that's not a power meter that you see up there at the top. That's a sleep meter. Now four hits and you die. But uh, every hit or every time you stop moving, your sleep meter will go down. It also goes down gradually over time. Once you go to sleep, uh, everything gets a little bit harder to deal with. And then if you're asleep for too long, Freddy comes after you. And you have to fight him. And then you can't wake up till you finish a level or you find a boombox. Which has some of the best music in the game, but unfortunately we will not see it. In fact, the GDQ, that happened to us twice with four players, and um, we were all headbanging it out every time we got this, the <laughs> boom box. That's funny. Yeah, I had a migraine after that, but it was worth it. <laughs> we have to go all the way down here. Now, with two players, this run is very interesting. Um, the game doesn't lag much. And you can uh, definitely get a lot of the bones at the same time and save some uh, time that way. Four players, you can do the same, obviously, but the game, the enemies still spawn at the same rate with uh, three extra sprites. So um, it goes from running 60 FPS to like uh, eight. It gives virtual highlight a run for its money on, um, on frame rate. I gotta get virtual highlight on the show sometime. I haven't done it yet, but someday. Oh, uh, I know. Uh, I know a few people that would do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's no shortage of runners of that game. That is for sure. People uh, enjoy the chaos. Yeah, there's more people running that than there are the regular highlight. Okay. 
this boss is two versus one. If we get get the hand and the, and the and Freddy's head. You want to take out the hand first because the the head has a set pattern. Not the best kill, but it's dead. The cool thing about it is, um, you know, when you're inside an enemy's hitbox, um, you can still hurt them, even if other uh, iframes are on. So, if I'm really practiced at this, you can uh, do some interesting things inside those bosses. Okay, now this is the high school. Um, this is the last level of the game. It's a long one. Now, there's two jumps down here that are pixel-perfect and frame-perfect. The game expects you to fall back asleep to make this jump here. But, you know, if you press the... and it's pressure-sensitive, too, you, you know, you have to push the button jump button for the right amount of time. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's not too difficult. I remember when learning this game, that was killing a lot of the runs, and I was like, no. No. Then two other things kill the run. The locker jump coming up. And then, uh, of course, the, what we do for the final bosses. Now, all the bosses that we have faced are supposed to be a boss rush. Where you fight them all in one go. Well, um, there's a way around that. And that was discovered... Oh, and I missed the cycle. But uh, that was discovered completely by accident that we could skip bosses. There was a runner by the name of the Strahl, who was one of the first runners in this game. And he accidentally uh, spawned a boss twice. And, you know, we didn't think anything of it. And then uh, later on, several years later, Ray Quaza, one of the other uh, run runners of this, uh, Ray, Ray Quaza 9-11. And he, um... He skipped a boss. And we were like, mm. what? Well, I got home, I was working that night, so I got home from work. Here's the locker jump. We nailed it. And I got home from work that night and did some research and found out that if you walk back on the frame on the pixel that the boss spawns, it doesn't spawn. But if you walk one pixel too far, you either get a glitch boss or several extra bosses. And you can have up to five extra bosses. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's like, I hope that happens for the stream, but I just don't want to go through it. But <laughs> Yeah, happens. no, I understand. <laughs> it happens, it's it's okay. Mm -hmm. But, um, and then a few other, uh, Jam Eveler uh, found a little setup with it as well that helped us all. So it was a team effort, and um, we found out how to uh, skip all the bosses except the first and the last. Now, you can skip Freddy. However, uh, doing so will softlock the game. Uh. And you can't do it by accident. You have to mean to do it. So it's very difficult to do. Now, all you gotta do is hold right and you don't spawn. The, if you, you will spawn Freddy, but if you back up on certain pixel, yeah, um, Freddy, Freddy just says, no, I'm not showing up. You can just stay here forever. Now, all these water droplets are completely random. That one will always hit you. Very, I don't know why it will wait on you until you're right there, then it just hits you. Okay, so we are almost at the final boss rush. We have to fight the first one. The idea what we're going to do is we're going to get to where the boss would spawn and then back up, then stop, back up, and then move forward. And we should skip some bosses, so here we go. Probably going to die first, though. Yep, those are dead. Hopefully it's the last one. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Got it. Okay, there's two. There's three. Four. 
there's all of them skipped. Ooh. Now we are on Freddy. Time will be when Freddy goes off screen. Oh, not, not a good pattern for Freddy. Usually he's dead by now. And... oh wait, oh! And time. What was that well like done. a what was that like a nineteen? It's looking like a seventeen forty seven. What? I got sub eighteen on that? Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what we got. We'll take it. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I wasn't expecting that good of a run. Awesome. Yeah. Well very well done. Hey, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was that was one of my better marathon runs of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street with um I did zero practice by this. This is one of those games I can just start up and go at will, so that's what we did. Well, yeah, you certainly came uh, came through with it pretty well, pretty well. Very, uh, very well done there. Anything you'd like to uh, shout out or plug before we start getting set up for our second run of the evening? Uh, sure, I'll do one quick plug. Um, it goes with the horror theme a bit. Um, I've been working on the Castlevania series, and um, I'm you know, currently going through some of the uh, longer uh, Metroidvania style games. So um, that's one thing I've been having fun with. I also want to plug everybody in the speedrunning community because y'all are awesome. When I got into this 10 years ago, uh, 11 years ago, whenever, I never would have thought that it is what it has made so many great friends. And, you know, hopefully I'll get to see y'all again at future GDQ. But, you know, still, though, it's been it's been an amazing ride. It's been one of the best decisions of my life to get involved with this. So, um Thank you, everybody uh, who's ever came in contact with me and, and people going in the future. You know, love you all. So thank you. Awesome. Could not agree more with that sentiment, by the way. Yes, it is. Speedrunning has changed many of our lives. So uh, it's it's a beautiful thing that brings us all together. Um, well, thank you so much, Cantaloupe. That run was incredible. Uh, for everybody else out there, we're going to start getting set up for run number two. Uh, but before we do so, we're going to uh, take a little bit of a break here. So feel free to get up, get stretched, but don't fall asleep because you never know what can happen in your dreams. And we will see you here in just a few short moments. All right, welcome back to Awfully Silly, where we are thriving with a uh, Silly Horror Games uh, episode today. Uh, before we jump into uh, what I'm sure will be some cute chaos on your screen here, I uh, just wanted to uh, remind or inform everybody that Games Done Quick is hiring. If you have experience in website design and development and would like to help overhaul our website, or if you have experience in social media creation and want to help out at our live events, be sure to come on over to gamesdonequick.com slash jobs to apply. We would love to have you join the team. But for now, we got to jump back into, uh, back into our silly horror games. And we have here QT... We're going to be doing the full games, all achievements run, and it's going to be run by P. Cole. P. Cole, the floor is yours. Hi, it's me. I'm the one doing the games. Um, so you might be looking at your screen and uh, wondering, what is this? Um, this is not a horror game, kind of. Um, if you don't know this game, uh, it's a parody of an early PlayStation 4 game called P.T. that was like a Silent Hill showcase of a new Silent Hill game. Um, and then that Silent Hill game ended up getting canceled. And then the, the, the dev of this, Happy Snake, made uh, this as a parody of PT. Uh, so it's going to start off like PT and then just not be like PT at all. So that, that, there's your backstory for QT. <laughs> That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Um, so this first level is going to start off, uh, we're going to start time once I gain control from this cutscene because there's going to be a short little cutscene where I stand up off the floor. There he is. There's the little bug. Okay, now we start time. I have control. Let's go. First thing we're going to do, we're going to get this frog on the ceiling. He doesn't give you an achievement, but I always get him anyway because I, why not? He's like my little good luck frog. Oh, yeah. That's cute. We're going to go past this little guy, and we're going to go through these hallways. This is just like PT. It's all the hallways, if you know PT. Uh, then we're going to friend a loop. 
Welcome to Friend Loop. This game is all about friends. I know this is a, a horror show, but we're all about friends here right now. Um, but we get the, the duck picture, and we're gonna get this thing on the ladybug door. Uh, these pictures are gonna help us open the bathroom door a little bit later. Um, and then that's gonna give us some running shoots to run a little bit faster. Um, and now we're in construction loop because of all these construction friends. We're gonna go past the construction man here and then get this painting. Go, go through this wall because walls don't exist. And then we're gonna get this soda. That soda will be important in a little bit. Um, but first we're gonna go around this corner, get this little picture on the frame. Go behind this PC or radio, whatever it is, get that picture. And then hopefully have enough soda to give to the fish. That will make sense in like one second. There we go. <laughs> now we give soda to the fish. As we all know, fish love soda. Um, this is Skeleton Loop as evidenced by Skeleton Man. We interact with Micro City and then, uh, you know, best achievement in the game. Uh, seven on the keyboard. There it is. <laughs> just press seven and you get an achievement. You just win. So we're going to go around this corner. We'll get this painting and then we're just going to be a little piece of paper behind the lizard man on the ceiling. And then we're going to leave Fish Loop. Shout out to Lemonhead Fish Man. There he is. Best boy. Now we're gonna go through a little spider loop here. Don't get scared, chat. I know there's some spiders here. Don't get scared. Um, we're gonna get this painting down here. And then I believe it's up here. Yep. Sometimes that's a bit confusing to remember all the stuff are because of all the hallways being the same. But, you know, I've done, I've done this run enough times that I kind of know at this point. And then there's a little man. He's gonna turn into a cat and he forgot to delete it. Oh. Now we're gonna get this last picture frame here. That's gonna open the bathroom door. The bathroom door is kind of RNG sometimes. That was actually kind of a good, fast bathroom door. And then we're gonna get the running shoes and wait at this painting right here for a second. And then we're gonna get the ghost. Lisa is also the name of the ghost in PC, in uh, PT, so that's another PT reference. Turn off that radio. And you can see we're running faster now because we have the running shoes. And we get Orange Pot Loop, that's how we know that we did everything correctly. Shout out to Orange Pot Loop. I'm gonna interact with him, get the Ding Dong. And we enjoy every loop. Uh, that opened the door to this next section. And then we're gonna go through here. There's gonna be a little man in this doorway. He's gonna say hi to us for a second. Hi, little man. There he is. Now we're gonna go in this dark section and get this generator and we're gonna go through this wall because walls don't exist um and then get this and then borrow a friend's game we can give it back to this school next week it's fine don't worry about it and the, the one loud sound in the entire game chat don't get scared it's the one loud sound in the entire game we're gonna go through here with all the white little people get the smiley face achievement let's go woo and then we're gonna go through back down here and then we're gonna go through another wall because uh, walls don't exist, and get Wimble. Uh, Wimble was a little character in the demo. I guess he's out on holiday because he's not in the full game for some reason. Don't ask me. Uh, but we switch off all the generators. That guy says hi. We get more soda. We're gonna take the soda to Yellow Man in the corner here. There he is. He got his soda now. He's happy. Uh, and then we're gonna take the soda and do some blind movement. Um, we can try to get the dancing frog. You can see turn sideways. Throw the picture. Throw this other at the picture. I got the frog. Let's go. We're gonna try <laughs> to spawn all the dogs. Try to get into a corner where there's more soda. I think I got the soda. I heard it ding. Where am I? Please. There's. I got the soda. So let's more more soda, please. Get in my way. More soda. Uh, and then we're gonna spawn dogs. Um. There's actually a. Pretty recently, like a few months ago, someone came in and got a new world record because of an event where I submitted this game, but I didn't run the game that I submitted, someone else got that. Um, they ended up doing so much practice, they got world record, and they actually taught me that you don't have to spawn all these dogs. Um, but I just spawn all the dogs anyway now, because... dogs. <laughs> Shout out I, to dogs. I still have muscle memory of doing it. Um, Shout out to dogs. Um, but we get that paper bag, we touch the wall for nothing at all. And then we're gonna go up these stairs. I've never actually gone in, inside any of these rooms. 
Um, so I don't know what's in these rooms, but it doesn't matter because we don't need to go in there. I could I could take time loss and go in there for science, but that's time loss, and we're speedrunning here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we find our best say. friend. We find our best friend, and we're going to go into museum second level. And that was going to be like nothing like PT, as if the first level was actually anything like PT. Now we're going to break these boxes, get this time crystal, and we'll touch the trash can, we'll turn all these trash cans blue. And we're going to go in here, get this horse, extend arms to level 3, and get this key. We're going to stick arms to the floor to get that painting, and then we're going to go up here and get more soda. The soda is going to be a little hard to get now because it's on top of the vending machine instead of on the side next to it. Now we're going to get this trash can up here, go down here, get this painting, get this horse, get this painting, get this painting, get this painting, nope, get this painting, and then hopefully jump around here, nope. This, this jump is always the hard jump for me. And I'm also out of soda. If I was faster, I could have given soda to this man through the wall. Um, but I've never been able to do it, so I will have to come back for him. Um, we're gonna touch this painting, touch another painting through the ceiling, get a second key through the ceiling. And then, uh, we'll chat, we're just gonna wait for Salad for a second. That's the wrong one. I need Salad, not dogs. I got sa <laughs> dogs earlier. I need Salad, not dogs. Lines to take out of context. Get that horse and then get this painting. We're gonna go up here and then we're gonna parkour if I can not get stuck. We're gonna parkour off of a dog. If I can actually get on top of the very thin dog. Dog, please. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but this is like the only way I know how. There we go. Parkour off the dog. There we go. I love parkouring off the dog. Barkor. Barkor. And we're gonna get our best friend for a museum, but we're not gonna leave yet because we still have some stuff to do in here. Um, and we can complete, complete museum on Nightmare, Nightmare Difficulty that, um, we get that achievement for turning on a setting called Nightmare Difficulty. Um, that does nothing. It, it changes nothing about the game. All it does is give you that one achievement. And we're gonna do some more parkour. Par parkour with no dogs. No, no more parkour, just par regular parkour. And then we're gonna jump around here, get Spider-Man with no hyphen, let's go. And we're gonna get more soda so I can go and give back to that yellow man that I missed. We're gonna, we're gonna see Dog Room one, one last time, chat. Oh, here's Dog Room again with the, the flashing rainbow dog, there he is. There's, there's Gay Pride Moth Dog. He has soda, let's go, he is happy now. And we're gonna go back down to where we are Get some more soda. Because we always need some soda, chat. Always soda. Get more soda, and then get this horse in the corner, get this painting. And we'll touch this trash can. Go around this corner. Get this try and turn on the fire. And we're gonna interact with fashion, even though it says it's not interactive. Touch a painting and a trash can both at the same time through the wall, and then hopefully have enough soda for blind movement. There we go. Now I'm trying to get into the basement and try to get a horse down in the basement. I can hear that I'm not even throwing soda, I just hear the regular hand thing. I heard the guy say hey, so I'm stuck on a man. He's just saying, hey, okay, I was in the corner touching a man. Don't quote that. <laughs> that, 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 that was not meant to sound like that. Um, but we go in the basement, and then we're going to go through this box, or break the box, get this little cassette man, and then uh, get this painting over here, and then we're going to turn around and get our final key for the yellow area. And now it's not yellow anymore. Um, get on my way, pair. Hopefully there's a man behind this pair, there he is. Um, the reason why I say hopefully is because sometimes that guy decides to not spawn. Um, luckily I've had him able to spawn most times I do this run, um, but there are a few times where he just doesn't spawn. 
Um, and because this game is so obscure, no one really understands it. Um, so we don't know a way to fix it. And then we get this second cassette down here, and then we get the, the achievement for Frozen Flygon. There it is. And oh, then yes. we, get, we get our biggest friend in the universe. Our best friend in the universe, perfect and flawless. We get soda, and then there's gonna be another fish inside this pot. Fish love soda, let's go. Spam soda chat, let's go for all this soda. Spam all the soda. And we're gonna go down here into the aquarium exhibit, get this final time crystal, and I'm gonna wait in hot spring for a second. And we're gonna pet all these eels, and then we're gonna pet Ditto. This is actually speed tech chat. I swear petting Ditto is speed tech. Um, there are other things we can pet in, in the Aqua exhibit, um, but Ditto is fastest because it's the closest one to the direction we come from. So petting Ditto is, is fa fast speed tech. But we're gonna go through this wall, talk, talk to that guy, tell him to shut up. I get this final horse. And we're gonna go in the store, and hopefully I don't steal anything, because that's bad. Bad in real life and bad in the game, chat. Get the soda, get soda from the vending machine. And then go through this wall. Nice, I didn't steal anything. Um, and then we're just gonna be stuck in a train for like a minute. If this was a, a charity thing, I would ask for donations here, but there's no donations. No donations, but I can remind everyone, if you would like, since we have a moment, that if you happen to have missed out on any of our past events, such as SGDQ 2023 most recently, or our Juneteenth event that we had, uh, be sure you can check out the VODs on YouTube.com slash Games Done Quick. Check out those VODs. We got eggs. Three eggs in the train. Eggs. Eggs. Get your eggs in chat. Now we get to Cohen, which is our final level, but also our longest. And we're gonna go through frog area. Look at all these frogs. All the frog men. And then we're gonna go up these stairs. And we're gonna activate this micro deer beacon chat. Ignore what you see on screen. Don't look at the white. Don't look at the white chat. Ignore it, please. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ignore all the white. If you see white on your screen, you're just wrong. Don't worry about it. Um, but we're gonna go over these hills, through these trees. These trees actually do have some collision on them, so you can get stuck on them. Which will probably happen later. Um, but we're gonna go up these stairs, across these rails. Get this soda. Get this soda. And we're gonna give soda to this man behind here. There he is. He likes cold drinks. And then we get the camera. And we're gonna take some pictures and throw soda. I don't know if this micro deer beacon counts as deer pictures, but I just always do anyway, just in case it does. And we get to make that micro deer beacon, and we're gonna go around up this hill, and we're gonna go through this Japanese looking gate, and we're gonna get some more deers, and we're gonna get some cookies. You know, we had soda before, and now we're, we've upgraded to cookies. We're gonna throw cookies and take pictures of deer at the same time because it's the same button and we need to do both of these. So we're just gonna do both of this at the same time. Take 10 pictures of deer and then more cookies, and then have fun with the deer. There we go. Uh, chat, I did tell you not to worry, right? Don't worry about it. Don't look at it. Don't look at the white. Fine. No. It's just like milk. There's a floating tree you can look at, that's fine. I don't care. But don't look at the white. Mm -mm. Don't look at it. Don't even think about it. Don't think about it. It's it's like the demons that come out of the Ark of the Covenant in, in, in Indiana Jones. Don't look at it. Did it not give me the achievement? I've never not had it give me the achievement. Chat, chat, you know what just happened? Chat. We just got a that's never happened before. Woo! Chat, it happened. We just did it. I said the thing. That's never happened, but it's happened.
a quote being said has been has happened, but that happening to me in game has never happened. <laughs> um, chat, don't worry about it. Don't don't look at it. It's fine. It's just white. I don't know what to tell you. It's normal. It's fine. It's just white water, chat. We're all good. Have you never seen white water? Is this not a thing? I've heard of white water rafting. See, that's that involves white water. I'm sure. I'm it, sure that it, involves white water. It's in the name. It'd be silly not to. Please ignore the white water chat. We're, it's, it's all good. <laughs> it, it could be milk. It, it could be white water. We don't know. Uh, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, we we jumped across this white water because um, walls don't exist, but you can also just jump on water. Um, we found our best friend inside that little magical hallway. Um, and there was one time when I was doing this and just messing around, I did go past the edge of the world and you can actually stand out on the void. There's no like invisible wall that stops you and you can just stand out there. Uh, we get more cookies. I don't think these cookies are actually required, but I just get in my way so I can actually do something while I go up the hill. Throw cookies up the hill, let's go! There's a few donuts in there too. Um, but we're gonna go up this hill and find the secret deer garden. Let's go chat. And then we get to um, the worst RNG part in the run. Um, I don't know what makes this happen. There's supposed to be a blue guy here that spawns by going between these gates, and sometimes he just doesn't spawn. He's gonna be rude again tonight because, of course, he is. Um, you just have to go between these gates like multiple times and just hope he spawns. I don't know what makes him spawn. Usually, I get him like first try if I'm like in backstage for an event or something, but then I actually go live and I get him like 20th try. So he just <laughs> always hates me. So I don't. <laughs> Like, we don't know what makes this guy spawn. We just know you have to run between these gates. There he is. I, w I was not counting, so I don't know what try that was. Um, but we don't we don't know what makes him spawn uh, because this game is so obscure and like no one runs this. So we, we don't know. Uh, but he, he's just a, a guy who makes RNG happen and we hate that like the one RNG thing in the entire run. Chat, don't look at it. I know you can see it down there. Don't look at it. No, I'm not looking. Don't worry looking. about it. See, look, there's I... blue water right here. That's fine. You can look mm. at the blue water. Don't look at the white water. Ooh, that's I'm really blue go... water, too. Nice. We're going to go down into this little forest, and we're going to collect the children. Don't ask me why we have to collect children. It's just for an achievement. Don't worry about it. I promise I'm not doing anything bad. Um, but we get this micro deer beacon. We're gonna collect this child between these trees, and we're gonna go down here and collect this other child. And then we're gonna go up a hill. Um, chat. Um, if you don't like flashing lights, maybe we'll look away. You know, I'm saying don't look at the white water. That's a meme. Um, but for this, if you don't like flashing lights, then actually do look away. Uh, because this next one will have some flashing lights for a, like one or two minutes. Um, when I'm gonna go through this gate, uh, oh no, get by, but get bit by a snake. Very scary. Don't get scared, chat. Look at him go. And that now all my controls are reversed. We're, we're good, chat. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm just upside down. It's normal. We'll go through these trees. Like the last child, if I can. Find him. There he is. Get this child down here. Oh, I'm getting messed up by my reverse controls. I feel like I might have also missed a child too. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I didn't miss one. If I did miss one, I might have to go to snake section again because I only know how to find them during upside down. Yeah. But also, I don't care. We're gonna get this child. Go get this vending machine. And then we're gonna do blind movement. No. Blind movement. There we go. And now the hill that I climbed to try to get a uh, snake section, I'm doing that hill again, but blind and backwards. Um, it's probably better to do it forwards, but I just always 
do it backwards because I'm just ended up doing it backwards. Um, so hopefully I end up like in the hill or up the hill. Nope, I'm under a platform. Nice. Um, ideally, you want to be uh, like halfway up this hill by now, um, but sometimes that can happen where you can get under the platform or you can get stuck on one of these poles or trees. Um, ideally, you don't want that. There was one event where I did it and I ended up down in those reeds. Um, I don't know how that happened, but I, I did. I don't even remember what event that was, but I know it happened. Um, but we're going to go up this hill, get this deer um, chat. The game says that he's a deer that really liked snakes. That's liked of a D in the past tense. Um, don't ask me why he's in a pile of snakes if he doesn't like snakes anymore. Don't judge him, chat. Mm -mm. Maybe he's trying to get over his fear. You don't know. Don't judge him. Um, we're going to go through this gate and get this micro deer beacon. If I can go for the gate, there we go. Get this micro deer beacon. Let me through the gate. That's the most difficult time I've ever had with that gate. Um, but we're gonna go up this hill, and once we go up this hill, there's gonna be more snakes chat. Don't worry, they're not gonna bite us, but there will be more snakes. I'm gonna go up this hill, take a picture of a snake. Look at all these snakes chat. There's a turnip boy in the roof. I've never seen him. Chat, that's a, ne that's a second one. That's never happened before. I never saw the turnip guy. <laughs> There's Hopefully a second one if you want to count that. Hopefully he doesn't commit tax evasion. He better not. <laughs> um, we're going to go across this bridge and there's going to be a giant snake that falls from the sky. There he is. Look at him go. Um, and then we're going to stand with sheep. This is clearly what sheep look like, chat. You've never seen a sheep in, a sheep in your life? There you go. See, the achievement says sheep. They're clearly sheep. That's what we, that's what sheep look like. We all know it. True fact. And we're going to touch this leaf. Um, the leaf is not for an achievement, but I always touch the leaves anyway because it spawns a little guy. There's a little guy. There's a leaf man. Chat, how would you feel about a tall man in the background? How do we feel about that? Hmm. You know what? I'd like there he I'd, is. I'm for it. Woo. There's the tall man in the background. <laughs> He's the tallest friend. And we're gonna get this micro deer beacon down here. Chat, don't worry about the white water right now. I know you can see it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We're, just, we're all good. It's normal. We're gonna go across here. Uh, chat, you ready for another meme? Orb. We have collected round orange man. Heck yeah. Get, get your orbs in chat. And we're gonna go up this hill and then there's gonna be a man, um, a little blue man. He wants to water cherry blossoms with his spit. Um, which, you know, I don't think is good for him or the trees. Look at him go. Orbs. Um, the also, I mentioned earlier the person who got the world record in, in this. Um, he actually taught me that there's two other of those same guy who spits on the cherry blossoms. There's two other ones. Um, and I had no idea. Um, actually, he taught me there was one other one. And then I was doing a run of this at a different event pretty recently. And I found out there was a third one. Um, so there's three of those guys for some reason. And I didn't know. So we're gonna try to get this uh, sort of from jumping up here. I used to do it a different way, but then the world record guy taught me that way, so it's much easier. Let's go, speed tech. Speed and we tech. jump down here, play enough soda. Soda to give to this fish. Nope, I ran out of soda because I took too long. I always do this. I always run out of soda, so I get, have to get more soda. More soda chat, let's go. We get the bonus soda. And we're gonna jump down here, give this soda. There's, see, there's the second water guy. And then we'll give soda this fish in here. And then there's a uh, second orb, first of all. And then there's a third 
cherry blossom guy. Why is there three of them? And apparently they also all give you the, the achievement too, so you can do it with any one of them. But I, I had no idea there was multiple of them. Also, chat, this this white is fine. This this white is normal. This is normal white. This is snow. This is mm. not white water. I guess snow is water, so I guess all snow is white water. It's it's frozen white water, yeah. It's frozen white water. But this this is actually supposed to be white, I promise you. Uh, we're gonna touch this mirror in the uh, chat. Did you know this game is sicker than an RPG? This is an RPG this, this entire time. Oh, I've been Look at the chat. And we reach max level level 80. Let's go. <laughs> RPG gaming. And we're gonna collect these foxes on all these in all these deers. All these ducks. Get the stuck. And we're gonna get this fox chat. Did you know there's um one more secret duck chat? There's one more. Um most people don't know about the secret duck. Um the the secret duck is me. Hopefully that caught up on Discord. Um but the secret duck is me, chat. I do the cracking. That's me. We'll take three pictures of foxes. I want to go up on this rock, and there's two foxes hanging out up here. And I got one. Give me a second one, please. There we go. Get this stuck. And we're going to take the foxes back to this little house. And then we're going to get this stuck. And we're going to go down here and uh, chat. Get ready to pray. Pray to the best god you've ever seen in your life. Act after I activate this micro deer beacon, get ready to pray, chat. Get your praise in chat. There he is. There's dear god. Dear god. There's the dear god. Get pray in chat, please. Get your praise in chat. He's gonna fly through the hill. He's gonna do whatever he does. Um, but time is gonna come up in a second once we get all my friends are here. If I can actually collect the duck and not jump over it. There we go. Hopefully it shows up. There it is, there's time. Woo! Well done. Yeah. 2747, oh, you crushed the estimate. Let's go. Um, really there technically well is one more achievement. Um, there is an achievement for getting all achievements, um, but we don't count that because it's glitched and you can never get it. Ah. Um, so that does exist, but it's impossible to get. Um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna pet Ditto. Pet Ditto endlessly. Look at him go, chat. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if, if you want to find me, I'm on Twitch and Twitter at pcal 6754 um, I'm actually going to be in the next Fatal's event doing Slime Rancher. So if you want to see another short, cute little game like this, then you can catch me actually opening the final day of Fatal's um, with Slime Rancher. Ooh, Slime Rancher is such a good game too. Be sure to check that out, everybody. That is going to be incredible. Um, any other uh, last plugs or shoutouts we'd like to yeah. do before we get set up for the next one? Um, I'm also involved with Lady Arcaders. We just finished our second charity ma marathon uh, yesterday with over two thousand eight hundred dollars raised for care. Woo! Um, so we just finished that, and we're we're so happy, but we're so exhausted. Oh, I bet. Yes, I know. I know a lot of people involved with Lady Arcaders, and I know you are all doing the work this weekend, and it paid off because you've thrown an excellent, excellent event. Well done. But uh, thank you so much, Pecol. That was incredible. I love seeing some uh, ditto petting as we uh, as we exit here. But uh, for everybody else, we are getting ready to get set up for our third run of the Silly Horror Games block and Awfully Silly here. Uh, but so, but we're going to take a break first. So uh, feel free to get up, stretch, maybe pet your dittos at home.
All right, welcome back to Awfully Silly, everyone. If you're just joining us, we're getting silly tonight with some horror games. Now, uh, we have uh, started off so far with A Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES. Excellent run by Cantaloupe there. Followed it immediately with QT, the juxtaposition, the QD and the horror uh, by P. Cole, who absolutely smashed the estimate. And we're going to be continuing on here just shortly. Wanted to remind everyone, of course, though, that your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs and bits cheered on the gdq twitch channel help support games done quick hotfix so please consider subscribing if you enjoy the daily speedrunning content we appreciate it but without further ado if you happened to watch sgdq 2023 or went to sgdq 2023 i sure hope that this was one of the runs that you caught really shocked it wasn't in the uh, silly block but uh, we got to enjoy it as part of the horror goodness. This is, of course, Rose of Meat, run by Schmumbler. Go ahead and show us how it's done. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, if uh, if you missed this uh, run at SGDQ, please do go back and watch it. Um, unfortunately, I am not joined by my wife today. I was at that point, and it was her first time seeing the game, so... You know, hopefully we got some fresh faces in here, but if you ever just want to see the facial expression of someone who is new to this game, it's a perfect watch. But all that being said, Rose of Meat, one of the little micro games included in the Dreadx collection, The Hunt, we'll go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. So... I'm not really sure what everybody's expecting this game to be like. I mean, if you've seen it, obviously, you kind of know, but you kind of don't at the same time. Um, things are going to be happening. I really wish I could explain, but, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, now that we've gone fishing and been swallowed by a giant hand, uh, how about we go get ourselves a weapon to defend ourselves, and we're gonna get that from our good friend here, Mr. Baby Legs, and he's gonna give us a revolver. Thank you for your noble sacrifice, my friend. And now we can continue on to our lovely little lady in red, who, if you use a little bit of comprehension, you'll later find out is named Rose. What? I know, right? A rose of meat. Weird. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she tells us basically that um, we're not that special. We're stuck here like many other people before us, but she kind of likes us maybe, so she's going to help us out. That said, she's only going to do that if we get her shoe, so that's exactly what we did right here. Uh, this is her shoe. It's sentient. It talks. It has a leg growing out of it. It summons meat babies. Not really sure why that's a thing, but I don't know. I'm I just don't really feel like I would put my foot in something like that. But now that we've gotten it for her, she's going to tell us that there's a guy named Gun who could possibly get us out of here. She claims he's a fisherman, but he uh, claims no such thing. And uh, don't mind me just walking on a bunch of eyeballs here. There is like surprising amount of movement tech in this game that's i guess instead of just blathering on about how completely nonsense everything in this game is because there's plenty of time for that uh yeah so you might have seen i climbed up a cliff with uh, a dash that's because while the dash is great for moving fast it also has a little jump at the start of it and that allows me to get on top of stuff so i use it to climb up that cliff without shooting an explosive barrel i also use it to get on the eyeball by jumping off of a molehill and technically that's out of bounds i'm supposed to follow this long labyrinth and look for a bunch of red shoes that point me in the way that i need to go but that sounds annoying and tedious and if there are two things that i hate it's boredom and tedium so now we talked to gun he says he's going to help us out by building a boat these are terrible spawns but that still works okay but in order to build a boat for us we need to gather some wood for him unfortunately we can't just cut down a tree or blow up a tree or whatever 
because apparently the trees are not made of wood. We have to go gather some special ingredients for gun, which involves us coming into this forest here. Oh, thank you for that. Revolver ammo is random like everything, including this, and I am not ready to talk about you, ma'am, but thank you. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're looking for wood. Uh, this is wood. Apparently women are made of wood. Sure. Um, <laughs> but we need to gather three of these. And technically, by getting to the forest how I did, that was another little out-of-bounds trick. I was supposed to follow another labyrinth to get here, but, you know, if you can summon me babies at will. They provide nice, convenient ramps for you to shoot up, and uh, now we're here. Uh, I am going to turn my volume up significantly here so that I can listen for... There we go. Uh, you're welcome for only turning this up on my end, by the way. This is <laughs> excruciating. <laughs> but, uh, two out of three, these, uh, these spawns, everything that spawns in this game is completely random, so I'm actually having some real good RNG right now. Hopefully that continues for the third one. But the reason why I turn the volume up is because they make this, like, soft, moaning, breathing sound. And I hear one, I think. That might just... Okay, no, that's just Dick. Hi, Dick. Hey, Dick. Anyway, Dick's a dick. He likes to get in your way. He makes a lot of noise, so it makes it hard to hear the things that you actually need. I'm not hearing any... Okay, so that whole thing about... Of course, as soon as I blow up dick, there you are. I was just about to complain about the RNG too. Gosh, taking that away from me. <laughs> anyway, that's all three pieces of wood, so now we're gonna talk to Gun. Gun tells us that... Oh, I am gonna turn that down. That is hurting my ears. Gun is gonna tell us that he's not done with our services yet, and he actually wants us to go ask out the girl he wants to marry. Thing is, the girl he wants to marry is Rose, whose mother is Mother, and Mother is a stickler who does not like Gun, and requires Gun to kill something called the Head Spider. So, um, if you have arachnophobia, you should be fine? Big question mark there. Uh, the head spider does not look like a spider, but it is still disturbing, because of course it is. Anyway, this is Mother up here. Hi, Mother. Hi, Mother. You're looking very... Um... Mountainous today. <laughs> you can definitely tell that she's in charge. Anyway, here she is telling us that we need to kill the head spider in order to take Rose's hand in marriage. So we're going to go report back to Gun. Gun's going to tell us mm, that kind of sucks, but OK. And he'll actually join along us. Ooh, is that? I thought I Yep, that's the leg. All right, let's talk to you. Come on, come on, Gun. Like everything else, where and when the head spider spawns is kind of random. So the fact that I'm already seeing it is great. That means that I can go ahead and do some setup. I'm gonna... Oh shoot, I'm out of ammo. No! Got a double hit, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, you might be wondering why I'm not just shooting it. Uh, turns out you actually can't damage anything in this game with just the revolver. You actually have to summon the meat babies and use the explosive barrels to actually deal damage. Ooh, one more. Come on. There we go. So we have defeated the head spider. Gun has taken the head of the head spider. I'm not sure which head he took, but um, we got one. And we're going to bring that back to Mother. Now, Mother's going to be very impressed. And by very impressed, I mean she's going to call us a cheating scum and smash Gun into the ground as he deserves. 
And now we're gonna hope we don't die. Take the boat that Gun should have given us when we did the first task for him and book it out of here. I can't really see, but I'm vaguely following the shoes here, hoping that the big goop monsters don't kill me too. And we're gonna plant this right here. Quickly talk to it. Don't have time to talk to you. Sorry, Rose. See you later. And now we have to talk to the boat as quickly as I can, and the boat's gonna tell us that we were never there actually anyway, and it can't help us. Time is gonna be when the wall of faces pop up, and that is gonna be any second here. And that is time. Woo! That was certainly Rose of Meat. It sure was. So, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed that, there are several other micro games included in Dreadx Collection The Hunt. Uh, most of them are not this crazy. Some of them are. Um, it's a really neat collection of games. And, you know, big shout out to Dread XP for doing those collections, doing some other great games as well. Ooh, as well. Uh, Hand of Doom just came out. Um, what? There's the one that was made by Ducky Zamansky like friendly neighborhood hello neighbors not hello neighbor that's a different game anyway <laughs> tons of great games that they're putting out and if you love indie horror you should really check them out uh also just you know while i'm here i always got a shout out my stream team the clock tower filled with many many horror game streamers a lot of us are speedrunners a lot of us aren't so if you want a little bit of variety you know where to check us out and uh yeah i think that's gonna be it thanks for having awesome. me awesome awesome well thank you so much for being here and doing this for awfully silly yeah this this game is absolutely ridiculous uh in the best possible way i knew as soon as i saw it, i needed to have it on the show and uh, i'm glad we were finally able to make it happen but uh for everyone else out there we actually despite it only being about half ish way through the show we only got one more run for you which we're gonna start getting set up here soon but first we're going to take a little bit of a break feel free to get up stretch your legs meet or otherwise and we will see you here all right welcome back to awfully silly we're featuring some very silly and unusual horror games on today's episode. If you are just joining us, we started out with A Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES by Cantaloupe, who absolutely crushed it, followed that by QT, which is a spoof of PT, if you haven't seen that. P. Cole destroyed the estimate there. Then we had an incredible run of Rows of Meat by Schmumbler, which that game just needs to be seen to be believed. Um, and the crush in under 10 minutes, and we are just rolling right along with our last run. Before we get to it, though, just wanted to remind everybody, if you happen to be watching this VOD on YouTube at some point in the future, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. And you can also come on over to twitch.tv slash games done quick. If you're interested in looking at our live content that starts most weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. But without further ado, I think it is time we jump into our last horror adjacent run, which is going to be the PS2 classic, of course, Gregory Horror Show. And it's going to be run by Pasama. Go ahead and take it away. Indeed, 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 I will. First and foremost, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Um, before I start my usual rambles of rambles, give the other pe the previous runners a follow. Do it now. If you need the Twitch channels, someone now's throw the, the Twitch channels. Yeah, now's time. Throw throw the link on the on the chat. Give them all a follow. They did fantastic. Don't forget to follow them. Um, okay, so now I'm going to start my ramble. And usual, because I'm so stuck to my ways good morning good evening good afternoon everybody uh this posma here i am running as they said a playstation classic gregory horror show this is a cartoon horror game um i will be running normal any percent um first as usual disclaimers um there may be noises in the background i have no control over it i got cats i got dogs i got a small potato aka child if anything happens in the background i apologize um, second of all, anything can happen at certain parts of this game, whether the run just gets derailed. I do a backup save just in case, so just heads up on that. Anywho, I think I'm done rambling. I will be rambling a lot during this run. Um, so yeah, we'll just get to it. So I'm going to hit new game. We're going to skip some cinematics. 
Um, the run doesn't start right away. Basically, I got to name my character. We're going to go for the English alphabet. Go there. And they're going to ask, uh, would you like to be boy or girl? Character design-wise, the girl is just better. She she is adorable. So uh, the run starts as soon as I hit, you know, confirming this. So in three, two, one, go. So we're going to skip cutscenes because we're doing a speed run. Um, basically, we're not supposed to be in this lovely hotel. We're just going to call it a hotel. Just simplicity's sakes. Um, we're going to hear a nice scream. We're going to run outside. And we're going to do a tutorial. It's going to tell us we can peek through the little... Peek through the door. <laughs> Words are great. And we're going to see Neko Zombie. And Neko Zombie is going to be like, Hey, who are you? You're new. I don't know you. I want to talk to you. Go get the key of the front desk. We're going to do that. And I'm going to remind everybody, we are the best guest this hotel has ever had. Keep that in mind. Best guest. We don't cause any trouble. Nope, not at all. Uh, we're going to talk to Gregory. And Gregory's going to be like, Oh, hey, you're new. Did you talk to that, your neighbor? Don't. You know, the neighbor's evil. Did terrible things. You know, don't trust him. Uh, we're going to trust him anyways. Just because. <laughs> and... Uh, yes, and Gregory's going to do his runs. We're just going to get him going a little faster. And we're going to kidnap the key. We're the best guest this place has ever had. Um, and the game's through a tutorial like, hey, we have a timer. Each character has their own schedule that they go through. Um, and also you have items. Um, I'm going to talk to Greg here first. We're going to do our first safety strat, which is getting a map. Uh, this map will let me know uh, where people are going on the first floor. It will help later on. And we're just going to be rude and get in front of Gregory because we're the best guest. And we're going to beeline it to Neko Zombie's room, unlock the door, get in there before Gregory walks past. If we do it when Gregory's close, he's going to tell us, what are you doing? Stop what you're doing. Don't trust the cat. But yes, there's Neko Zombie. Um, basically, dialogue-wise, they're just saying, like, you don't belong here. You need to get out of here. This place is dangerous. Don't tr trust Gregory, which is true. You don't want to trust Greg. As charming as Greg is, you don't trust him. And he's going to be like, tutorial about enemy, or not enemy, I shouldn't say enemy, guest weaknesses. So we're going to peek through the door. We're going to learn Neko Zombie's weakness. And he's going to drop subtle hints like, it's sweet. It's brown. It's, it's you know, a dessert. And we're going to enter back in. And we're going to go talk to Neko Zombie. And we're going to answer him. His weakness is chocolate. We could use cell phone, uh, banana. I think an energy drink is one of them. But no, he likes chocolate. And because we answer correct, he's going to give us the lost soul that he has. And that's that. So lost souls, each guest has a lost soul. It's just, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's the whole if you stay there like 12 times, you get a free soul. Um, basically, we need to get those in order to get out of this fine establishment. Um, Neko Zombie is going to basically tell us, hey, now you need to go meet Death to give this lost soul to Death so you can get out of here. So we're going to take a nap. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> so this is Death. Everyone say hi to Death. We'll see him often. Hi, Death. So basically, he's like, hey, you're new. Oh, hey, you have a soul. Can I have it? But we're going to give it to him. He's going to wish us good luck. We're going to say thank you. <laughs> thank you. And we're going to get a stamp. <laughs> All right, so we got a note saying, hey, come back to my place. We're going to talk a little bit more, so we're going to run over to Neko Zombie's room. And we're going to be introduced to uh, Catherine, also known as the one that can derail the run. <laughs> Neko Zombie's going to mention, hey, someone's listening. And lo and behold, there's Catherine. Uh, she's pretty happy that we're here. <laughs> but she's not going to allow us to get the soul. 
Uh, basically, what that means is any of the guests that have their soul, the lost soul with them, they're run away from us. So we got to find a way to get the soul from Catherine. Uh, which, what a quinky dink. There's James. So James dropped a banana peel. And there's Greg. Greg, or tell James, hey, be nice. Don't be rude to the guests. Stop dropping banana peels. Before I forget, um, <clears throat> James is uh, Greg's nephew. Sorry, brain farting on that. Um, but yeah, we'll see James often. We'll, we'll grow to love James. Sarcasm with that. But anywho, the game basically told us, hey, you should go get a banana peel. So we're going to get a banana peel. So we're going to head over to the kitchen. Um, but yeah, we have basically tutorial up to this night, and then the game kind of lets us free to figure everything else out. So let's head over to the kitchen. This is the kitchen. It's it's very small. Got the banana peel. Don't mind the bones on the table. They're just there. And basically the game told us, hey, this is how you use an item. We're like, perfect. Thank you. And now we're going to uh, go find Catherine. Mm. There's a high chance we may see James. And yes. James, go away. Oh, James, you're blocking me. <laughs> so James, in a speed run, he's just a... He, he, he's just there. Uh, if you're playing this game casually... Anytime you sneak or peek, he's just going to be like, hey, what are you doing? Stop it. He's just going to bring, make people aware that you're doing stuff. Um, so he's kind of a nuisance. But Catherine slipped on banana. We're going to make sure she is okay. If she is fine. She's dandy. Oh, she, yeah, she's fine. She's perfectly fine. We're going to take the lost soul and we're going to run back. To Neko Zombie's room. And yeah, basically, he's going to mention, you know, you got the soul perfect. Uh, Catherine's not happy. At all. Yeah, she, she's, she's very, very happy. A little bit of sarcasm there. So basically, this introduced the whole... If they spot you in the hallway, they're going to chase you. And if they catch you, you're going to experience what the game calls a horror show. So it's just a little little um, cinematic. And basically knocks you off for a couple hours. Uh, gives you status effects. Um, and kind of messes up the time. Uh, in a speedrun, we don't want that. Because that's basically a dead a dead run, basically. Uh, but anywho. With all said and done, we're going to see Judgment Boy there. We're going to skip the scene. And we're going to go to bed. Now, for speedrun purposes, we're not going to hand the soul to death. And I did see in chat, people mentioned Swedish, Swedish death. I will say, he wears a hat with a Swedish flag. Yes, it is... An Easter egg. It's referencing a movie called The Seventh Seal. Um, just gonna toss that out there. <laughs> I like to call him Death. But yeah, we're not going to give him the soul. We're gonna leave it. Uh, it just saves time. And then this lovely scene's gonna play out here. Basically, Greg saying like, "Hey, more people are coming." And I'm just gonna rest my voice here. <laughs> お客様をお迎えする準備をしますかな。1階の部屋の扉を開けて。All right, so brand new night. I was going to say day, but no, it's night. 
and we get introduction to Jasmine Boy. Do you know his name? Sorry, that's what he's basically saying there. Uh, so basically, this Jasmine Boy, why he's just here to give us trivia. Um, but he's like, in order to do this, you know, you got to find a book. You got to prove yourself worthy. It's the gist of it. Um, so we're going to do a couple things in order to approach Judgment Boy. So we're going to go into Catherine's room, which is we're just going to barge in. She's not in there anyways. Um, like I said, we're the best guest this hotel has ever had. Um, we're going to pick up this ba banana, not banana, band-aid, a uh, particular magazine, and these pills. And we're going to leave. Uh... Now we're going to go find Greg because we have a we have a magazine and I've I've heard in the wind that Gregory loves to recycle um, papers, newspapers, stuff like that. So we're going to pick up these items first. And then we're going to talk to Greg and we're going to be like, hi, Greg. And he's like, oh, hopefully having a good night. And he's like, oh, my goodness. What do you have? You have this magazine. I can recycle it. And we're going to be like, yes, please recycle it. And he's going to be so excited about it. That he's gonna run away and be derailed about his entire path because he's gonna go and recycle the magazine. <laughs> that's how excited he's laughing about it. Well, recycling is a good thing, so that's it good is. to know. Yeah. Save the planet. Well done, Greg. Yeah. All right, so we're running to the library because he did oops, oops, he did mention that there's a book that we can take, just saying how to be a better person. Uh, it really should say how to be an exceptional guest at a hotel. I mean, we are good, but we can be better. Uh, so let's go see Judgment Boy. We have the the book we need. We're going to go talk to Judgment Boy. Yes, he is He is very responsible. And recycling is great. <laughs> uh, here's the Judgment Room. And now he's going to ask us a question. Um, basically, we want to say we are not giving up. So, what are we going to do? We are not going to give up. And basically, he's going to spin, we want the dollar sign to drop. Which means that there's no... It's not corrupted answer, no greed, we're not lying, it's the truth kind of thing. He's like, cool. Congrats. Here's the soul. Here's the soul. Enjoy. <laughs> All right. And that is it for night two. Uh, there's a total of four nights in this game. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're pretty much cruising as we should for a speed run. <laughs> So, of course, because we have all the souls for the night, I'm going to go straight to bed and hand them in. And yeah, the typical routine is get the souls, go to bed, um, more guests come in, repeat the process until you're able to leave. Um, before we do, though, I got to throw a book in the shelf for later. Okay, and go to bed. Good night. <laughs> So yeah, one thing I haven't brought up is this, there's actually a lot of stuff to Gregory Horror Show. There is a TV series, uh, three seasons of it. Um, you can find them on YouTube, uh, dubbed, fully dubbed, because um, the series was released in uh, Japan, obviously, and as well in Europe. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you can watch the first three seasons on YouTube. This game combines season one and two together. Um, including cutscenes. Uh, a lot of the cutscenes you see are actually in the TV series. And if you're wondering if they're long, it's actually not long episode-wise. They're like 12 minutes or less, give or take. Um, really short. But I would highly recommend giving it a watch, especially dur during Halloween. It's it's a perfect like perfect thing to sit down and watch during October or this month, one of the two. <laughs> But we're going to skip this. 
and we're gonna run to the store. The store has officially opened up. So we're gonna go buy a particular item. And also shout outs to the shop music it is fantastic. Uh, there it is. So we're gonna buy the lost doll with all the items we have gathered. And we're going to deal with the lost doll. Now, her her thing is that she can't find her dolly. She has lost the dolly. We have the dolly. We're going to give her the dolly. So we're going to run over here, switch over, carefully approach her, because, oh boy, she she's not a happy pickle, and drop it. And she's excited. She found the doll. The twist is with her. She is the doll. <laughs> um, Yeah. But she found her dolly. Now we're going to go into her room. And we're going to pick up this herb. And the soul. And if you're also wondering, why is there green and red herbs in this game? Because it's a Capcom game. That, that's I don't really have a reason, but this game was created by Capcom. So, yeah. Yep, yeah. totally. Adds up. I know Capcom. Yep. And, yeah, green, red, and there's also yellow herbs. You can't mix them, though, but they're, they're here. Alright, so now we're going to deal with Cactus Gunman. He is a very rebellious person, leader of the Resistance. Um, also has a crush on our main character. That is one thing that is great about picking the girl as well, is that Cactus Gunman has a little crush on you. And if you get, like, if he catches you and... Uh, you jump to that little horror show I talked about earlier. His is giving you a bouquet of flowers, but he trips and throws it at you. And yeah, that's 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 that little horror show. Um, so we got to knock on the door three times. He a little nervous, very superstitious. So we're just going to um, knock on the door three times to make him really worried. And there's a little bit of RNG here. Uh, the best RNG we want is Chess Cactus Gunman popping up. Of course, Catherine being Catherine, Catherine's going to show up because Catherine loves loves derailing things. <laughs> All right, so third knock. Just let me know. He's a little nervous. Oh, yeah, wait, we gotta wait for Catherine. I could grab that soul if Catherine wasn't there. We gotta wait for her to leave. Now we can grab it. Alright, so, like I said, we're the best guest here. We're gonna deal with the next lovely bunch so we're gonna go to the shop we're gonna buy not one not two but three time fruits i say this because i tend to forget to buy said number amount of time fruits <laughs> so as a reminder i'm gonna buy three time fruits uh i think i'm good i get this inkling i'm missing an item i'm totally missing an item we'll have to waddle out to get certain item uh it's perfectly fine though the item is close by I'm just going to wait a second, because I know Cactus Gunman is running around. Alright, so we're going to go to this wall and, and just knock on it. It's, it's a secret can of pop. I mean, I keep all my pop hidden in the wall, so yeah, I understand. And we're going to get that last time fruit. Alright. So we're going to do a little bit of a, um, I guess exploit would be the good option. So time fruit, basically it advanced the time in the, the time in the game. Um, but it also drains your sanity, which is the health bar on the top left there. So what we're going to do is we're going to eat all three time fruits. So, oh, yeah, I'm going to grab the herb first. 
and then we're gonna eat the time fruit. We're gonna eat all three, which is gonna give us zero sanity. Um, so I'm not gonna hit X because if I hit X, I'll leave the menu, and then we'll we'll unfortunately die. So I'm not gonna do that. I've done that before. Chad enjoys it. Uh, <laughs> and we're gonna use the green herb, and everything's perfectly fine. We can continue the run. With that, we're gonna go say hi to Mummy, Papa, and Son. We. I mean, we may see them later. We may not. Based on time. And they're perfectly asleep. We're just gonna go grab a bunch of stuff from their room. It's fine. They're they're not gonna miss them. Um, and then the lost soul. And that's them. And we're basically done with night two. I hope you guys enjoy RNG and roulette. Because that's what day three is gonna be. RNG and roulette. I'm going to give my voice a break here. Don't mind me. Hey, no worries. You've been doing some excellent, excellent commentary so far. So well, take thank you. all the break that you need. Rest those vocal cords. If you have any questions, I can definitely answer them while I can. Oh, yeah. I hear that, chat. If you got some questions, throw them in there. Even even chicken, even questions relating to like raising chickens, maybe, and ducks. I do raise chickens and ducks. Wow. Yeah, it's 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 an interesting thing. I look outside and sometimes I see chickens staring at me being like, where's food? And it's like, uh. <laughs> I know chat has an affinity for birds. That's got someone's got a bite bite on that. Uh, that little tasty nugget there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I actually I'm going to I'm going to answer right away. Yes. Yes. Chickens can be jerks. Birds are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is Catherine's route random? No. Um, each guest have a set route. So like um, when they're, if it's like two o'clock, they're going to be at like the hot springs or at a particular area. At three o'clock, they're going to go somewhere else. Do chickens play with the kazoo? No, I wish. Uh, cutest chicken. Oh my goodness. I have a, I have a small bantam that has that it, that's, has the popcorn gene, which basically means the feathers. You know, your, your typical chicken feathers, they're poofed out um so i have a popcorn and his name's popcorn I, he's adorable and you can clearly tell who my favorite chicken is is popcorn uh duck i'm gonna just say peking because that's what we raise they all look the same uh do your chickens try to eat the duck eggs uh no because they're separate they live in their own houses um <laughs> okay we're gonna skip the cutscenes because we got more guests i gotta go back to the jibber jabber here um all right so Day three, we're going to do some gambling and we're also going to run to the shop to buy one thing here. So let's run, 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 run. And we're going to buy some batteries because they're now in stock and we're like, perfect. What a quinky dink. Batteries are available, especially since we're dealing with TV fish. For those people who don't know what TV fish is. You will see, for those people who know who TV Fish is, be excited for the TV Fish. Um, and also, we gotta go get some ingredients. So I'm just gonna waddle in the kitchen here, grab an apple juice. Um, and then I'm gonna knock on a pitcher, because, you know, like I said, pop. I also hide my pop behind my stuff I have framed. Uh, so that's the secret theme of the episode, which is soda. Ah, there we go, perfect. <laughs> And speaking of soda, we're gonna dump this soda into this pot. Um, we're gonna we're gonna help um, the chef here. Um, just, just add some flavor to his stew. So water, apple juice, soda. That that's that's good. That's that's some good flavor. Um, and we're gonna leave. And you see the chef here. He's another favorite character. Um, good old hell chef. He's just gonna run away from us. Um, he'll do that. But we're gonna run to the basement. Because, yeah, we gotta go in the basement. The dark and spooky basement. Um, I will point out our character's eyes are now a purple. It's just a signal that it's dark. It, it's just a dark basement. Um, run into this room. Grab the energy drink. Knock on that to get another one. Knock on this. Grab some red tea. And knock on this to grab an apple juice. And a remote control. 
Which, yes, we have batteries. I will deal with those in a second. Um, but I will point out there are secret items throughout the hotel. You just have to knock. You'll find the items. Um, but now we got this long-winded... Oh, there's, there's... Oh, okay. Okay, bye. That's Roulette Boy. Say hi, bye. Uh, <laughs> hi, bye. So we got basically... Um, the second floor. We got, like, another floor to waddle through. Um, so I'm just gonna do a round of Did you know Gregory Horror Show also has a board game? If you're like, what? Yes, it does. Um, so before that, batteries and remote control. And then we're gonna use a speed item that we picked up just to increase our speed. Makes the basement uh, a little more tolerable. But yes, there's a board game. Um, not really in production anymore. You have to dig on ebay um but it's basically you control character you can roll to either move one of the guests basically prevent the, your opponent from leaving the, ho the hotel hopefully you can escape kind of thing um they did the this thing as they did back in the day um with many board games uh that if you wanted certain figures of certain characters there was also the whole blind box thing so let's say if you want a Catherine, well, base game only gives you Gregory's figure. You got to go through the blind box and try to like, you know, buy, like, buy hopefully a Catherine or like Nickel Zombie or one of those other ones. Um, I, I have the game and I also bought a case of them. I don't have Catherine. Catherine's like one of the harder ones to find, but like, yeah, they did that. Not a fan of that, but it is what it is. Um, obviously, it, 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 I don't think it sold well. But it's 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 a it's a game. It's interesting. If you can find it, pick it up. <laughs> but anywho, we're done in the basement, so we're gonna go down this hole to get out of the basement. We're going down, mind you, a hole where we end up back outside. Don't don't question it. Um but yeah, we do have a dice, a single D6. Um this is the uh dice of RNG. We're going to hold on to it. Got the rest of the run. And hope we have a good time with Roulette Boy. Um, so we need to go find him. We did see him earlier. I'm kind of worried that I may have spooked him. No, I didn't. He's excited. I found his dice. Now he's like, let's play Roulette. And I'm like, ugh, no. Which, surprise, is not Roulette. No. Yeah, no, Greg, it's not Roulette. We're, on a, we're playing a board game. Well, we're, we're doing board game. Yes, this is a horror game. Board games can be terrifying. Uh, I want to roll high. I got it. I need to see which which board I'm on. I, I fear which one I'm on. There's okay, I'm on this one. Sorry, I have this. I have a notepad that tells me what board, what to roll to start. Hopefully we do well. This is RNG, basically. I can do good. But then Gregory could be like, I'm going to be better. Or Gregory could be like, I'm just going to use flail and be super effective about it. We rolled a five. I wanted a six. That's okay. I think we're going to blow up here. Nope, we're going to get a ten ton. So ten ton, I take damage. I lose a turn. Um, so there's one of two ways to win this. Either I get to the exit first, or... Gregory loses his sanity, and then we win. One of those two. So we're going to see how well Greg does. I'm hoping he doesn't do well. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try running a 7. Hopefully I... Oh wait, I lose a turn. Right. We're still going to try running a 7. I am going to eat the green herb. That Greg is doing. Oh, good. Okay. Well, that's what we want to see. Okay, rolling a seven. Eating a herb. Reminding myself. <laughs> Alright, rolling a seven. Let's hope. Let's pray. Hiya. <laughs> ah, okay. It's been a while. That's fine. Uh, we'll be landing on a ten counter. That is perfectly fine. Uh, ten counter is basically we're not going to play hot potato with Gregory. So he's going to start off with a 10 ton. He is going to lose a turn, so we'll be fine. 
We gotta just get as far away as from him as we can. And also because I gotta, we're gonna use a W down on him. Basically, his roulette board cuts his movement in half. When he rolls an eight, he's gonna move four. Um, I'm gonna try rolling an eight. Chat. <laughs> That's okay. We're gonna land on a bomb. We have enough sanity. We'll, we'll be able to handle it. Okay, we got a W up. I am content with that. Okay. So. so I'm hoping Gregory... Good. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you're all two. He's gonna get a one. I I think my next turn I would like to roll a seven, so let's hope I can run around roll a seven. Thank you. So what's gonna happen is he's got one more turn. He's gonna land, he's gonna get the weight, the ten ton to land on him as well, taking even more damage. But let's see if I can roll a seven. I believe in myself. Good job. Ah! <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's fine. We'll just, we'll just deal with another bomb. It's cool. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. There are three maps uh, in this part. Uh, it's all randomized. Uh, there's one map that is really bad. And I mean really bad. It's basically... There's a lot of returns on the board, which basically if you land on them... Oh! Oh, he, oh we won anyways. He ran, ran out of sanity. Perfect. Good job. Ah... <laughs> uh, that's one way to win, for sure. It, indeed. So we got the the soul. Perfect. Um, so we're never going to see that board ever again. I, nope, nope. He does mention, which I always find funny, Roulette Boy mentions, like, come back. You can you can play this whenever you want. And no, I'm not. Goodbye. <laughs> Anywho, we're going to go upstairs. We got to go deal with a fish because we have a remote control for a fish that, that is a TV fish. Um... So we're gonna go up here now. Before I'm gonna open this. Actually, no, before I open this, I'm gonna look at the map. This is why I pick up the map. Okay, Cactus Gunman is there. We're gonna wait a bit. Because as soon as I open that door, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of people staring at me, and I don't want to um, deal with them. So we're gonna wait a bit. This speedrun is interesting in regards to if you're early. Time-wise, the game's going to punish you. If you're late, the game's going to punish you. Um, there we go. We're fine. So you definitely have to have that nice, happy medium of being like right on time for a lot of events. James, James, James. I want to go. No, James. Uh, no, uh, James, go away. <laughs> uh, Come on, James. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here. We're going to go over here because we don't want to deal with Cactus Gunman. We just want to avoid him. So we're just going to go here. Oh, oh, James isn't coming with us. Perfect. We're just going to spy and wait for Cactus Gunman to leave the bar. So we may be here for a little bit, but that's fine. Um, I'm just happy we didn't have to deal with Cactus Gunman on first floor. Uh, my sanity is also really low, which I do not like. The sanity does deplete, um, the longer you're out here. So I'm a little nervous about- oh good, he's- he's leaving. I may have to go, uh, quickly eat an herb to restore that. Um, okay, that noise you just heard tells me that, like, hey, someone may have saw you. They're a little concerned. Okay, we're gonna eat an herb. I could have ate all this other stuff. Because I could have, I completely forgot. Anywho, let's knock on the jukebox. Let's say hi to TV Fish. And by hi, I mean we're gonna use a remote control on him. Because, um, yeah. He's fine. He's perfectly fine, guys. The TV Fish, he's okay. He'll bounce back. And we're going to grab this herb. And now we're going to leave. 
through the shoot. And hey, we're back here again. Don't don't question the basement going from down a hole to there. And here we're going to back to the kitchen. And we're going to spook away Hell Chef, and we're just we're just going to help him with the stew a little bit more. We're going to add uh, this energy drink. Um, what else? What else do we have? Uh, ooh, we're going to add some herbs. Herbs are really good. Uh, we're going to add, uh, ooh, some red tea. Yeah, we're we'll add some red tea. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, you know we're going to add the yellow herb. Oh, we have one more. Let's let's add one more thing. Ooh, um, mm. Let's add uh, the apple juice. There we go. Perfect. Stew is done. Look at look how delicious that is. Mm. Mm, get me a bowl of that. Chef's kiss. <laughs> I do see a question in chat. Give me one second. We're gonna sit next to this lamp and reflect on our decisions. Um, are the routes and movements identical between runs? Uh, yes. Basically, um, it's really what it comes down to is the RNG. Specifically with the board uh, roulette boys segment, as well as other um, RNG parts that, you know, a couple seconds make the difference. Uh, if I remember correct, the world record, I believe, is held by Speedward at like 56, 58 minutes. I could be wrong. I, it's honestly not, I, I'm gonna be honest, I, it's, it's been a while since I've checked the speedrunner, speedrun.com's board, shifty eyes. Anywho, uh, Segwaying back to the run, how Chef has seen our fine work. He is not happy with us. He's he's gonna try to find us. Um, this is a good face. I make this face when I, you know, go to from my office to the staff room and see the box of donuts and there's no donuts in there. That's the face I make. Anywho, we're gonna go in this warehouse. Cause Hell Chef is a golem. He is a candle golem. And there's a draft in this room. And we just... We just... We just had the candle go out. And we got the lost... Lost soul. And of course here's James. Or James. Oh my goodness, not James. Greg. <laughs> Greg's here. James Horror Show. <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be terrible. James likes to pull a lot of pranks. I'd rather deal with Greg. Um, so Greg's basically saying, Hey, why are you being a jerk? Why are you being a jerk to my guests? Why are you being a jerk to Hell Chef? What did Hell Chef do to you? He's just cooking food. That's all he's doing. And you're just like getting him the best of food and getting him to chase you around and come into this place and blow out his candle. So rude. So rude. Which, on a random note, uh, they don't show it here. He does mention no smoking, but in the TV series, Hell Chef hates when people smoke. Just puts him in a rage. <laughs> Which does make sense. Smoking does change your palate. But anywho, he's fine. He's back up on, up on his feet. We're just gonna go over here and uh, grab this magazine. We're not gonna... We're Yes, just grab the magazine. Ignore that area. We just grabbed that uh, magazine. Um, and we're going to remind ourselves that, hey, Gre Gregory really likes to recycle. So, yes. But anyway, we're done with this night. We're going to go back. We're going to go to bed. It was a very busy night. So we definitely need to sleep. Ugh. All right. So now we're going to the last, oh, I wouldn't say last night, the fourth night. The fourth night is also a night that can, um, it can derail. Um, it's, this part is really important with time. Uh, so we're hoping we're going to be right on time at a particular part. If we're behind, we'll have to wait. If we're ahead, we'll, we'll have to roll with it. <laughs>
All right, fourth night. So, as usual, Greg's already mentioned, there's more people here. <laughs> He's also going to talk about Mama, which is Greg's mom. Greg's mom is here. Um, we'll, we'll see her later. Is the J Japanese version of Fast and Pow? Oh, I believe they're the same. I just went for the Japanese copy because I already had um, uh, a PS2, like a Japanese PS2, and I did not want to spend more money to get a PAL console and the game. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I went with the cheapest option. <laughs> but the PAL version, if you want to play this, is fully translated. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and price-wise, yeah, the Japanese version is way cheaper than the PAL. The PAL version is pretty expensive. Um, all right, so we're going to pick up this herb. So that's the angel herb. Um, sorry, I'm being derailed. I hear angry potato in the background. Don't mind the angry potato. Potato's angry. Um, angry potato. Aww. Um, yeah, angry potato. Um, Okay. So we're going to run to this one area, the warehouse, again. We're going to go see a lovely gentleman. I may have to mute myself just because I hear some potato anger. Um, we'll see how things go. I'm going to quickly grab the screwdriver. It's fine. Uh, we can That's borrow okay. it. If you got to mute, I got your back. No worries. All right. All right. So let's, let's leave him. And I'm going to go to the bar. I'm just going to give a context because I... Oh, we may be good. I think we're good. Um, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so I'm going to go to the bar now. I do have this screwdriver that we took from... His name is my son. That is his name. Uh, we're going to go see his dad, who is called Clockmaster. Uh, we're going to go to the bar. We're going to just have a quick chat with him. And basically, he's going to be like, because we got the screwdriver in a hand, he's going to be like, what What do you have in your hand? That That is my son's screwdriver. And he's like, please give it back. And I'm like, no, I, he let me borrow it. Shifty eyes. We did not steal it. And he's going to get a little angry. He's going to ask us to give it back. And he's going to he's going to get even more mad. And then he's gonna, you know, go power level over no over 9,000, and we're gonna deal with, um, Clockmaster. So Clockmaster, his thing is, he's clock. He can also freeze time. So, we're gonna go down the stairs. Uh, we gotta do this three times. We're gonna make him pause time. So we're going to run over here. We're going to wait. Oh my goodness, James. James, go away. <laughs> ah, James. Come on, James. You're killing okay. us. Where is he? He's right there. Okay, we're going to run up the stairs. And we're going to wait until he climbs up the stairs. And we're going to go down the stairs. I was waiting for those Dio references. There we go. And now we're going to run over here. We're going to make him do it again. Oh, oh no. Oh, I we sh we should go check to see if he's okay. Um, let's let's go let's go see if he's okay. Oh yeah, he's perfectly fine. Let's go. Wait, I I did not take a watch from him. Nope, I did not take a watch from him at all. Um, nope. But he's fine. He's perfectly fine. He's good. He's fine. I'm not shit. You know, doing shifty eyes right now. He's fine. Ah, uh, we're gonna run back to that warehouse. And we're gonna go talk to his son. And the son's gonna be like, hey, you have my screwdriver, please give it back. I'm going to basically summon my dad to kick your butt. And, well, you know, Clockmaster can't. Um, cause, well, he's, you know, he's, he's just, he's fine. He's just, Resting. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, he's he's kind of panicking now, and he's he's kind of like, hey, okay, well, here's the deal. I'm gonna give you the soul that my dad told me to protect, and I'll I'll take the screwdriver back. Is that a deal? And you know, but yeah, yes, we'll, 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 we'll take that deal. I mean, we didn't steal it from you or anything. Shifty eyes. We are the best guest at this hotel. It's reminding us that we are. Alright, so now we're getting to the another part that could derail the run. Um, so we're going to deal with Angel Dog. Um, so the biggest thing I got to do is run back to the ho or house. Run back to my room. Kind of, sort of, the same thing. <laughs> uh, we'll do this for now. So we're going to read a book. Now, re you can find books scattered around the hotel. Basically, they... Extend your sanity so you can run around, do stuff. Um, for speedrun purposes, we're only going to read one book, and that is it. It's a good read, guys. I highly recommend the book. Audiobook is supposed to be fantastic. Um, and then with that, we're going to use the pocket watch uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. four times. So that's one, two, Three. So this advances time. Uh, a little bit better than the time fruits because you're not losing so much sanity. So that's four. And then we're going to go to sleep. And we're not going to hand in the soul we just got. Now this is very time sensitive. We need to go from our room to the shop. Um, within a small time period. Because Catherine's going to be making her rounds at this point. Now... We're either going to be mid her route or she's going to be coming like coming to our door or be or past our door. We'll see what time. But basically, I need to be in the shop as soon as I can. Um, so for the sake of the run, I'm going to look at the map quickly just to see where everybody is. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Right button. All right. Oh, it's... It's you. Okay, so we need to wait. Um, Mummy Papa is making his rounds. We did miss Catherine. Oh, never mind. He is leaving. Let me just double check the map. Yes, he is. Alright, and I... S nope. I think I saw Catherine. Let me double check. We're being very cautious. Okay, she's leaving. Let's leave. We're running to the shop. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> And now we're going to go chill in the shop. Uh, we're going to hang out in the shop until s s 6 and a little bit, like, 6 and 3, six and three seconds afterwards. So for right now, safety-wise... Uh, wrong button. I think I have enough to buy one more speed up. Uh, yes, I do. So we're going to take that. And we're going to hang out in the shop. Uh, the shop has a lot of fun things. So just referencing certain characters... So, like, this angel dog and devil dog's weapons. Um, there's the train from season three. Um, just a whole bunch of goodies. A kettle. <laughs> uh, I believe that's house chef's lovely uh, meat cleaver. That's the word I'm going for. But, yeah, we're just going to just chill. Stare at Greg. Um, we're going to get in position pretty quick here. I'm just going to stare awkwardly at Greg. And now we're going to run to the door. And we're going to wait. So. Six. And then we wait. One. Two. Three. So. We're hopefully timing it. That Hell Chef's going up the stairs. So he won't catch us. And Gregory's doing his rounds. We're going to stop Gregory though. Because remember he likes recycling. So. We're going to be like. Take this magazine. Please recycle. And he's like. Yes. I love recycling. I'm going to go recycle this magazine. Uh, basically, the reason we're doing this is 
what Gregory's, Gregory is going to do, he is going to the TV room to interrupt Angel Dog. Let's just go downstairs for a second, guys. <laughs> Let's just go downstairs. It's totally part of the route. Now we're just going to chill here for a couple seconds. Part of the route. We're going to go back upstairs. It. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to the TV room because Gregory would go in and interrupt Angel Dog's uh, TV time of watching sports. We're just going to scoot her out of there and we're just going to chill behind the couch. We're going to hide. Just just hide. She should be coming back. I hope. <laughs> Someday. Yeah, she's carrying, currently doing a run. She'll come back. Sit down and watch TV, I hope. <laughs> Actually, we can check. No, I... Oh, there we go. I was going to access the map, but nope, she's back. Perfect. So because Greg didn't interrupt her, she can fully enjoy her sports and leave her lost soul just on the table. All right, so the one of the hardest parts of the route is route speed run is done. Uh, I'm going to be safe, though. I'm going to quickly stare at the map, see where everybody is. Good. We have a clear path. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to go to our room and finally go to sleep. So, yeah, we have two more things to do in a nutshell, and then we can... The, just basically wrap it up. Uh, words are great, sorry. <clears throat> um, we have like one more person who has a lost soul, and then we can finally get out of here. So, once again, good night. We're gonna hand in the souls. Um, I do have a little bit of a walk to do, so if you have any questions about the game, the run, uh, this would be perfect time, because basically I'm going to go from my room all the way to the basement. Um, so yeah, any questions, perfect time to ask. I'll keep an eye out for any good questions here for you. Alright, thank you. All right, so by the cutscene there, we'll be dealing with Judgment Boy again. So we're going to go find him. He's in the basement now. And then just going to bring up some random things. Speaking of Gregory's horror show with the board game, the TV show, there's also a manga. I believe it's only like two, three volumes or something like that. Um, there is also the paper, I, think, I believe you call it paper craft. You can make the characters. Um, there's also a mobile game of this back in the day. I don't know if they, uh, end, like, kind of end the service of the game or not. But there was a mobile game that you had the gotcha mechanics in it. Um, what else was there? Which static is just the most annoying? Uh... We actually don't deal with status conditions. If your run is going really, really good... Oh, oh, who's that? Oh, no, it's TV Fish. Oh, he's running away. I'm not surprised. TV Fish. We were kind of a jerk to, to the TV Fish. Um, but yeah, if your run's going smooth as possible, you won't see any status effects. Um, Casual-wise, I don't remember. It's been years since I've played this casually. It is really fun to play this casually, though. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, also, good news, if you're watching the speedrun and you were hoping for a plot, I mean... You don't... There, there's a plot. I haven't really revealed all of it, so you just definitely play it. Um, which emulator... It The emulator does work, I believe. I'm not sure if it's still wonky in regards to like, the audio, but it's... You can still give it a whirl. Um, 
How long did it take you to learn judgment voice? Uh, I actually have a sheet because I I used to know it, and then I forgot it. <laughs> oh, I so don't blame we're, you. We're gonna answer. We're gonna have a bunch of questions thrown at us, and we're gonna answer them truthfully. AKA, we're gonna look at my cheat sheet. Um, so I'm gonna go for a particular word. This may take me a while, but that's okay. We're being safe and sorry. Do, 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 do. That one. So there's one down. Uh, my my music. There it is. There we go. We want that question. And worst case scenario, if some reason I flub up, I have a save file before this, so just in case. <laughs> so prepared. I love I, it. I yeah. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, sono. That one. Yes. We have one more question. Oh, two more. Pardon. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my goodness. Brain farting. Oh, there it is. I am on that right one. And last question. Uh, so no. There it is. There. So basically the questions, if you were playing the game casually, you would go around and see certain things that these guys were asked. Like, um, when you go, when, who, Catherine has a secret crush on someone. Who is that? Well, when we were in her room, you would have saw pictures of Hell Chef. The answer would be Hell Chef. And like, they were mentioned, like, when you're in the TV room, what does Angel Dog like to watch kind of thing? Like, questions like that. There's only, there's only one, two, three, four, like seven questions. But it's kind of stuff like that that if you're observant, um, you can, you'll be able to answer those questions. Um, but yeah, we got the last soul. We're going to get out of here. Just going to jump down that hole again. And head on over to our room. Hopefully there is no one hanging out here. If so, I do have a speed up just in case. Nope, we're good. We're, we're good. Perfect. Fantastic. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> I've had it before where I've done this run. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, well. All right. We're going to go for a, a, a really fast, fast run here. Gonna do some zooms. <laughs> uh, and hopefully, no one else is following us. Nope, we're good. No one's in the hallway besides us and her. Good. Nothing happened, guys. It was perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Let's go to bed. Okay, thanks. Bye. Good night. All right. So good news, guys. That was the last lost soul. We can officially get out of here. Yes, the scenic route. We took a nice, pleasant scenic route. <laughs> I love a scenic route. Oh, it's so nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so we're going to skip a cutscene. Death is going to be like, yay, you gave me all the lost souls. You can get out of here. And, you know, get out. <laughs> All right, guys, are you excited? We get to leave freedom. Freedom, yes. Freedom. And you can hear the music's all like happy and cheerful and it's perfectly fine. We're gonna escape. We're out of here. Okay, thanks. Bye, guys. I was the best guest you guys ever had. Oh, but the doors are locked. Oh, mm -hmm. no. It's always something. It's always something. Remember I mentioned Gregory's mom? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, you know, she's not happy. 
that, you know, all those lost souls kind of got taken from her. Well, not from her, but from her guest. She, she has a bunch of lost souls in her bedroom, but yeah. She's not happy with us. She's, she's finally tired of our shenanigans. So yeah, uh, this is Greg's mom. Everyone say hi to Greg's mom. Hi, Greg's mom. And we're gonna get knocked out. And the game's gonna make a note of, hey, that door's slightly open. So, Chris, lovely Nico zombie to the rescue, basically telling us, hey, wake up. You need to get out of here. ASAP. Don't give up. I unlocked all the doors. I believe in you. <laughs> but yeah, Neko Zombie's the best character. I was gonna say the best, but there's other characters. It's really hard to say which one's the best. Neko Zombie's pretty high up there. Although, funny enough, in Neko Zombie in the game, if you're playing it casually, he does roam um, the hotel at like midnight. Uh, one, two in the morning to go to get a snack. If you talk to him during that time when he's super, super hungry, he will attack you. Um, you can you can kind of do a whole system with him too. That like if you give him a food option, he'll take it, eat it, and give you something in return. Um, didn't really use it when I played it casually, but it was just a nice little thing that the game offers. But we're gonna go to uh, Greg's mom's room, and we're gonna go uh, just just steal a key. It's cool. She doesn't need the key. And I'm gonna run over here and grab another speed up. There we go. So yeah, if you notice all the lost souls there, uh, Gregory's mom keeps them just to keep herself looking young and youthful. Um, and also, you know, if you stay 12 nights, you get a lost soul for free. Ooh, yeah. great deal. Great mm -hmm. deal. And the food's supposed to be delicious here. Just don't smoke. So we're going to use one of the speed ups. I got two, so it's fine. It makes this hallway uh, obviously just dealing with it faster. And there's the door. We're going to lock it. And hey, we're back here. Let's go run away from Roulette Boy's area. I do not want to see that ever again. And let's get out of here. Nope, I guess we can leave. <laughs> so she's been waiting for us because she knew we would kind of escape. So we're going to have our one and only time that we're going to have a boss fight. This game has a boss fight, and this is it. So the strategy for this one is don't get hit. Um, we just got to have her swing her staff three times, tire her out. She's going to throw a fireball, and we want that fireball to land at the door. And that's basically the boss fight in a nutshell. We're going to do that again. Tire her out. Have her do that again. And then one, two, three. After this, she's gonna change it up a bit. Uh, she's gonna have a slow whack with a teleport. So we gotta do the same strat. Just keep her far away from the door so we can easily aim move have her hit it and now she's gonna start screaming which is gonna stun us but that's fine there we go one two three so basically we're doing this until this part there we go and now we can leave. 
Now, you've said this before. Is it real this time? I mean, we'll find out. Oh, she's mad at us, but that's fine. We're, we're, she's gonna just stay there. So, oh. Oh, that's Greg. Oh, hi, Greg. Greg's wondering where we're going. Why are we leaving? Did he not, did we not like the hotel? You shouldn't leave. You should stay. We offer fantastic hotel services like the hot springs, comfy pillows, fortune teller, a spookiness. He's and he's sad. We're we're running away, so he's a little sad. So he's gonna, he's just gonna um chase us. That's cool. So yeah, we're just gonna run. And I'm not gonna talk about this because this is plot related. I like I said, if you want to play this, you can, you can definitely um, you know. I would, you can find a copy. The copies for these games are pretty expensive. Um, I am one for, you know, emulating it to enjoy the game because game preservation is not the greatest. Hopefully, hopefully it gets better. But yeah, I highly recommend playing this game. It's fantastic. It's really good casual. Uh, timer ends when I lose control, so I'll let you know in a second here. But I'm fine. And time. Ooh. So I'm going to skip the ending. Um, just so we don't spoil anything. Plus the ending's really dark. But, like I said, um, uh, you know, you guys should definitely play the game yourself. It's a really fun game to play casually. So yeah, I'm going to skip the ending. And he skipped. Credit skipped. You guys don't get to see any of that. Ha <laughs> ha! And it's going to ask... Play casually, yeah. And it's going to ask if I want to save. Um, I'm not going to save... Basically, what it is, is if you save, you get to unlock hard mode. As it implies, it's harder. And you can also play Roulette Boys board games with a two-player option. No, I am not doing that. But that's the run in a nutshell. Wow. I can't believe it. You absolutely destroyed your rest of it, too. So you must have been really grooving. So well, well done. Uh, if you uh -oh. don't mind me asking, what was the time? So 106.11. Ooh, very nice. I don't remember my I don't remember my P PB is. Um, I should mention that I have not speed run in like a year in, in some, uh, which um, I was debating on speed running. Um, coming back like not coming back but like streaming at night to do speed runs and then you message me asking hey do you want to speed run greg and i'm like well i'm, I'm speeding on getting back into speed running i might as well uh <laughs> so yeah um i will thank you for that you kind of gave me a kick in the whole getting back into speed running oh i'm happy to give you that little kick um but yeah um sorry i kind of rambled and derailed things there um words <laughs> Sorry, no, you are you are totally fine. No worries. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that's a PB. If it is fantastic, if not, that was actually a really good run. Um, I was expecting everything to uh, derail because um, this game has been known to derail hard. If like one thing goes wrong, then everything goes just snowballs. Um, but I'm glad it, things went smooth as they did. Yes. Yep. They sure did. Looking here at the uh, speedrun.com page, your if this is your actual PB, is a one hundred three oh two. So just a few uh, minutes off of that. So uh, you know what? That's fine. I'm I'm just glad it went fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That went incredible. Yeah. Really. Really well done. Absolutely. Um. Anything else you'd like to shout out or plug before we uh, go on break before our next show here? Oh snap! The shameless plug part. <gasps> the the guy, shameless sorry. plug part. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> let us know. Well, I'm I'm gonna mention. Um, I am getting back into speed running. Basically, when I can, I do have a small potato, aka child. So basically, whenever the potato allows me to stream, I will stream. Um, I also have a YouTube channel where I'm doing just point and click let's play stuff. It's another way of things I can do while the potato is asleep. Um, so check those out. Um, and once again, um, follow the other runners uh, in this mini marathon. They did fantastic. Give them support. Give them a follow. Just give them the loves. But that is my ramble, ramble, shameless plug. I could ramble all day if I wanted to. I need to go check on my child, though. See if everything <laughs> went fine with the husband. But yeah, you guys were fantastic. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to be on this. Chad, you were fantastic as well. 
thank you guys for hanging out um have a good night everybody yes awesome thank you so much for running that pasama make sure everyone follows her as well uh we're we're out here talking about following all the runners follow them all of course but make sure you give Pa Sama some love, Pa underscore Sama. Uh, before we uh, jump into our next show, just wanted to remind everybody as well, Frame Fatales, Games Done Quick's all-women online speedrunning community, has an event that is coming up soon, Flame Fatales, that's going to be running from August 